Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and it is almost May. I am super excited about May because that is the month for middle grade May. This will be the fourth year that a cost from a cost of a K has hosted the middle grade May readathon and this year she invited a few other co-hosts to help her out and I am super excited to be one of those people. Now I will put all, all the links down below for announcement videos and and all the details but for this video I want to share with you my TBR and I also want to just uh, do another quick reminder about the hashtag book a day in May. Uh, Elizabeth Tyree is one of the co-hosts as well and we are going to be working towards reading a book a day in May and we want to invite you to join in. Now it doesn't have to be full length books. Uh, we don't expect you to read a 300 page book every day but um, there are lots of children's storybooks. You could even read a children's storybook every day in May if you want to but we do want to encourage you to read some middle grade books. That is uh, the, um, that's the, the main thing that we're doing. So most of what I have picked out our middle grade books and uh, for uh, another challenge that I am I'm doing myself that you may have uh, heard me talk about uh, previous or earlier in the year is my 20 by 20 challenge and I have several different lists of categories of books that I'm working on that include middle grade series and so I want to check off quite a few of those off my list. I want to finish some series in May and I want to make progress in several others and there are a, a couple of series that I'd like to start. So um, I'd like to share with you what I plan to read in May um, with a few exceptions. I'm sure that you know every single book that I show you today will not be exactly what I read because I do have a few others in mind that I have not checked out from the library yet but this is a pretty good sampling of what I intend to read. I've been scouring my shelves. I pulled some audio books that I have bought at library sales um, from my shelf that I have not read and uh, and some of the series books and things like that that uh, are next on the list. So let's get started. Now um, you may notice behind me uh, some middle grade books. These are the 2017-2018 Sunshine State Young Reader Award finalists and I just finished reading the 15th one uh, earlier in April and so now I'm ready to do a wrap-up review of all 15 of these books and so I will be doing that um, very soon and posting that sometime in early May. Uh, so that being said, the 2018-2019 list was just announced maybe a week ago and I am super excited that the majority of them are available on audio. It is a list of 15 books and um, the Florida for Media and Education do a list for I think three or four different age groups and I usually read the sixth to eighth grade books um, so as a result uh, several of the books that uh, that I'm interested in reading are sequels of Sunshine State books um, from previous years and um, and I only have a couple of those here in the stack right now but I have some others in mind that I want to get and I also have a couple from the brand new list that was just announced so I'll start with those. Um, I mentioned that most of these are available on audio. I think I can get four of them on audio CD from the library. Um, the majority of them are available on Hoopla and then there's only two of them I think out of the whole 15 that uh, it doesn't look like that they have been recorded on, at least they have not been released on uh, audio at all. So um, I'll have to read those in print. But anyway, one of the audio uh, that I, I've already gotten from the library is The Firefly Code by Megan Fraser Blakemore. It looks like it might be a bit of a fantasy, but I don't know anything about it. Uh, and one of the ones I'm going to have to read in print is The Van Gogh Deception by Darren Hicks. And this looks like it's going to be an art heist. So that looks fun. And you'll be hearing lots more about the Sunshine State books in coming uh, future videos. All right, so let me just show you the stack of uh, audiobooks that I found on my shelf. Uh, a couple of these I have no idea about them, but they I'm pretty sure they're middle grade books, so why not? What better time to listen to them than now? I have The Same Stuff as Stars by Katherine Patterson. Don't know anything about it. If you know anything about it, let me know. And then I have by E.L. Konigsberg, who I have read before. She's a two-time Newbery winner. Uh, but this I've not read. The Outcasts of 19 Schuyler Place. I don't know if that's Schuyler or Schuler, but uh, that looks cute. And uh, I really have enjoyed the books that I've read by her. Uh, and then I have the... Uh, the third book in two different trilogies, uh, middle grade trilogies. Uh, one of them is Julie's Wolfpack. It's the third book 
uh, of the Julia of the Wolves trilogy by Gene Craighead George. And I'm excited to get to that. And then I don't have the third book. I'm going to show you the second book. <laughs> the first one is Crispin the Cross of Lead, which I love. It's a Newbery winner. And then the second book is Crispin at the Edge of the World. I have listened to this already last year. The third book is called Crispin at the uh, in the End of Time or the End of Time, something like that. I got to get that from the library. I just put this here as kind of a placeholder so that I wouldn't forget to tell you about it. Uh, then checked out from the library. I've got one other audiobook on CD, The Five Lives of Our Cat Zook by uh, Joanne Rocklin. And I think this looks really cute. I got the the print copy. Uh, we have a library vending machine at one of our visitor centers in our county. And so uh, occasionally I like to go by there and uh, and that was a book that was in the vending machine. You just use your library card and you can, it it's totally looks like a big candy machine and the books fall down. You know, you can see what's there. So uh, it's a lot of fun. I don't know if you've ever seen a library vending machine, but uh, anyway, the, the print copy of this book was there. And so I checked, I brought it home so I'd remember it. And I looked in the library, did have it on audio. So I'll be listening to that. Okay, now um, I mentioned sequels of Sunshine State books. I think the only one I have right here on my person um, is the uh, second and third books by Allie Carter of the Embassy Row novels. And the first one was called C. No, the first one was called All Fall Down. It's about a young girl who lives with her grandfather who is a foreign uh, ambassador. Uh, I believe they are from the United States and they are uh, he is an ambassador to a fictitious country. So she, her mother was murdered. She believes her murder, her, uh, well, I don't know. I'll tell you more about it after I read it. But anyway, uh, she lives with her father now because her mother was killed. Or she lives with her grandfather. Sorry. And so these are books two and three. I'm not sure which order. Uh, see how they run and take the key and lock her up are the um, next two in that series. I'm very interested in reading. Some might consider these YA, and, and they probably are pr appropriate for either. But the first book was one of our Sunshine State books, so I know that it is um, on the reading level of a 6th to 8th grade. So that's what I'm going by. All right. Um, Three Times Lucky was one of our Sunshine State books for third to fifth grade a couple of years ago, and I've read it, but I want to read the sequel, which is The Ghost of Tupelo Landing. I've had it checked out in March. I didn't get it done. Had it checked out in April. Didn't get it done. I am going to read it in um, in May. I don't have it checked out now because it had to go back to the library, but I'm going to get it again. I've already got it checked out on Hoopla Audio. Uh, I'm just using this as a placeholder, but The Ghost of Tupelo Landing will be read in May. And then um, another series that I started, or it's a trilogy, I believe. I learned about this from a cost. The first book was One Crazy Summer by um, Rita Williams Garcia. So I picked up PSB 11 at a used bookstore quite a while back. And then from the library recently, I picked up Gone Crazy in Alabama. And I would love to read both of these books. I love the first book. Um, I don't know if I can get these on audio, so I may have to listen to, I may have to read those in print. Um, also, you may recall a couple months ago, I read a book called The Mysterious Abductions by uh, Tracy Hecht. It's the first book in the Nocturnal series. I was asked by the publisher to review this book last year, and I forgot all about it. Finally got the book, read it. It's adorable. So before I actually do a video review, I thought I ought to read some more of the series. And so I have the next one checked out from the library. It's called The Ominous Eye. And there are two, maybe three more already in the series. And there are two or three children's storybooks. So I checked out one of those called The Moonlight Meeting. And I am looking forward to getting to those. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to try not to start too many series. Um, but I will show you a couple. Uh, but actually, before I get to those, let me go ahead. I've still got some more sequels here. I should have grouped these better. Uh, this is a series I've been working on for several years. It's called uh, The Shadow Children Series by Margaret Peterson Haddix. I believe this is book five, Among the Brave. It takes place in a futuristic world where it's illegal to have more than two children. 
Uh, then I want to get back to reading some of the 39 Clues books. I finished the whole first series last year. I read the 11th book that I didn't even know existed for the longest time. And I started or restarted Cahill's vs. Vespers. So now I'm ready for books 3 and 4 of Cahill's vs. Vespers. Uh, book 3 is The Dead of Night by Peter Laurentius. Book 4 is Shatterproof by Roland Smith. And there are six in this uh, second series, and I think they're all on Hoopla. I only have uh, four of them in physical form on my shelf. Then another series that I am excited to get to, these are also on Hoopla. Uh, I read the first two last year, maybe. Um, these I've already read, 11 Birthdays and Finally, maybe it's called Finally 12. Um, these are by Wendy Mass. And so I have the next three. Again, these are all on Hoopla. Uh, number three is 13 Gifts. Number four is The Last Present. And number five, Graceful. And all of these have a little bit of magical realism in them. At least the first two did. So I'm assuming that, that these do too. Um, here are the first in series books I've already read that I want to read sequels of that I don't have in my stack right this minute. Uh, I've read the first Penderwicks. I've actually read the first three. The fourth book is Penderwicks in Spring. I need to check that out from the library. I don't think I can get it on audio, although I think it exists on audio, but uh, I, I would love to get to that. The Penderwicks series is wonderful. And then also I reread Wrinkle in Time. I think I've read it three times now, and I really need to go on to the sequel, A Wind in the Door. I have it ordered from the library, but it's just not in yet. Uh, and then another old classic series, uh, Little Women. I've read Little Women a couple of times, and I've never read the sequels. Uh, Little Men, I started reading a few years ago. I never got it done. And then Joe's Boys. Uh, these are just my old copies from my shelf. Um, uh, actually, these are uh, not, I have not had these copies for very long. A um, couple years, maybe. I've shown them in book halls. Uh, I, I wish I could say I had had these since childhood, but I haven't. Uh, but they're beautiful editions, both, of course, different editions, obviously. Um, but this Whitman um, hardcover, these naked hardcovers, I love these. And a lot of times when you find them, they are not in good shape. But this, I don't even think has any tape on it. A little bit of tape in the back, maybe. It's doing great. Uh, if I can't get these on audio, I probably won't read them. But if I can get them on audio, then I'm very interested in reading those because I love Little Women. I mean, who doesn't love Little Women? It's wonderful. Um, what else? I have a standalone called The Eleventh Plague by Jeff Hirsch. This is Katie's book. She read this in middle school, and I noticed that it's available on Hoopla on audio, so I'd like to get to that. And then two series, I uh, like I said, I'm not going to start many series, but I have one from my shelf and one from the library, and these are the first in series, and I would like to start these. Um, this one is The Bad Beginning, uh, first book in the series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. I have started this a year or two ago, a couple years ago, and um, didn't get very far. I was sitting in a school library killing time, and I picked it up off the shelf. I would love to, uh, re to read this. I did listen to an abridged audio theme theater version with a full cast last year, but I think I need to read the actual book um, because that was just kind of a, I don't know, it, I think it was abridged and um, it was not the actual text. Uh, then I learned about this book and this series from, I think her name is Sarah from Never Out of Books. She participated in Middle Grade March and March Mystery Madness. So these are, uh, these are some Middle Grade Mysteries. And this is the first in series of Spy School by Stuart Gibbs. I think she read the whole series in March. They look so cute. And so I went ahead and ordered the first one from the library. And I want to try to read it. I don't know if it's available on audio. Um... But I want to give it a shot and uh, see if I like it, too. So that is everything that I've got in front of me or beside me <laughs> uh, that I have um, pulled off my shelves and checked out from the library so far. There will be others. Uh, I think I showed you about 26, 27 books uh, at this point. There will be others. So some of these might get bumped out in lieu of others. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. But I am super excited about Middle Grade May. And um, uh, each of the hosts are going to be doing a themed video. Each one of us will do one video throughout the month uh, showcasing 
um, a different category of middle grade books or a theme. And my week is week three, and I'll be talking about underrated middle grade books. And so I hope you will tune in for that. I hope you will tune in and subscribe to all of the hosts and, uh, and watch their uh, videos. So let me know what you're reading for middle grade May, or if you're participating, or if you want to attempt to do a book a day in May, I would love that. And just be sure to use the hashtag book a day in May. So that's it for this video. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Read a good book and God bless you.